recording. You can hear me, you can see me well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Two feet will go right beneath your hips and palms right beneath that belt line. Sacrum first. Happy. A nice stimulation for all these nerve fibers that travels through the sacrum joint. Okay, bend knees slightly on your way down. Out and leg. Ta 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 ta. In the ankle, in the shin, in the knee. Rising up to the lymph node station, your digestive station. Coming lower back. Tap tap ta. Traveling down back to the sacrum. And second set. Lowering your shoulder. Relax your neck. Your tapping hands should be really relaxed. Very intuitive tapping hands. We go down again. Release. In the ankle. In the shin. In the knee. Rising up to the side. Lymph node station. Digestive station. And coming down again. Neck should be rather relaxed. Rounding up the spine. So all the segment of your spine gets a little stretch on your way back. Okay, force one. Down, 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 down. Rounding up the spine. We return now. Up, 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 up. And here's that exhalation. We go again. Returning. Okay, a couple more together. Servicing, servicing, servicing. Nice nourishment for your blood cells, for your bone marrows. Stretching the back side of your body. Rounding, rounding to return. One more together. Here's our exhalation. Inhale, returning back. Okay. Very thorough self servicing. Okay, come, coming down, brushing, rounding, inner leg returning. Here's our exhalation. Inhale, exhale, drop. Rounding of the spine, letting go of the spine. When you're ready, let's add a little speed. Exhale, going down. Inhale, returning. Let go of the neck. Let go of the shoulder. Up and down, up and down. A couple more times. When she return now, feel the difference. She feel a little warmer, don't you? One hand in the front, one hand in the back. And just swing those wrists forward and back, forward and back. When you're ready, look for the fingers behind you. Gyration, gyration, lubrication of your mid and your lower spine. Let us come into the center. Palms together, feet goes together. Pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Shake, 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 shake. I'm your mirror image. Right hand to the waistline. Left hand holds your invisible thread between the first two fingers. Testing, testing, testing. How is our balance doing today? Relax your elbow, relax that shoulder. Here's your exhalation. Navel seals, this is your inhale. Drop, here's our exhalation. Two more, find breath, find release. Feel that magic thread between your fingers and that knee. One more, here I'm gonna hold you one, hold two, feel for firming of the navel, feel for stabilizing that straight leg, and here's your exhalation. Walking your feet about hip distance apart, bend knees slightly, clockwise gyration, clockwise gyration, clockwise gyration, anti-clockwise gyration, anti-clockwise, Anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Feet and palm comes together. Pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. All these nerve fibers that travels up and down your spine, give them a little stimulation. Shake, 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 shake. 
Okay, second side. Left hand stay here or on your support. Right hand, first two fingers. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Now exhalation, exhalation, exhale. Deep breath. Relax your right shoulder and the elbow. Inhalation, we come up. Here's that exhalation, navel seals. Couple more here, find breath, find release. Navel in. Last one, I'm gonna keep you here. One, hold two, relax that shoulder, relax the elbow. Breathe for me. Walking your feet, hip distance apart again. From your clockwise lubrication, enter now, figure eight. Let the rib cage turn towards the side that you're spinning. Feel the bottom of your feet. Four corners of your feet gets a little massage. From here, we reverse that figure eight. Opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation. Notice these four corners are rather in sync to each other. So it's not like this, but there is a measure. Precision, precision, one way, one foot gets the way and the other foot gets the way. Coming back to the center, glue your legs together, use your hands to help you. Heels of the feet flies off the floor. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hover for a moment. Squeeze your legs down. Hang on. Tendency is we want to go forward. See if you can feel the back of the body, the space behind you. Even if it feels like a little unsafe in the beginning, right? Try that, two more. Beginning of your breath, no rush. Uh-oh, I see that, Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> Exhalation, one, two, better, better, better. One more, but take that circle now, beginning. Middle, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel the back of your hip, back of your legs, back of the body. Returning. Okay, coming back now. Left hand holds the thread. Second stage, inhale. Open window out to the left. It does mimic that figure eight because your hip joint is a spherical socket. Exhale, returning. Relax as you come up. Relax that shoulder as we go out to the side. This is your inhale. Bring it back. Synchronize. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Third one, beginning, middle, ending. Exhalation. Internal rotation, returning back. Here's your exhalation. Try a couple more deep breaths. Exhale out. Internal gyration in the hip. Exhale. Last one coming up. Exhale out to the side. Inhale, returning, coming back. Stepping now left foot into your triangle base. Up into the space above. Exhale, reaching forward into the space in the front. Your first forward fold, so go easy on the body, let go of the leg. Horizontal hands, beginning of the breath, middle of the breath, look towards your hand. Tailbone forward as you look up. Exhale, coming down one, navel in, going down two. Descending down to three. One more. Inhale, one. Inhale, two. Drag that breath. Don't let it go so fast. Exhale, one. Looking down already. Come down to gravity. I'm going to hold you here. How about a little gentle pulsation? Relax the neck, relax the shoulder. If this is too much, just bend your knees slightly. Pulsation, 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 pulsation. Push into the front foot. We ascend now. Here goes one, 
Here goes two, coming up into your three. There's that balance. Exhale, returning back to the center. Okay, left hand takes the thread, stabilize the sending leg. Firm into the glue, uh, core, exhale. Firm into the core before you bring it back. Here's that exhalation. This is your inhale. Swing that window out to the side. Bring it back, exhalation. Navel in, exhale. Inhale, slowly exhale, relax that shoulder. Returning motion, coming back. Deliver on or off the floor. Last one, rise, that's your inhale. Unfold, that's your exhale. Navel engage first before you return. Walk that foot behind the body. Okay, let's come nice full circle. Tailbone starts to go forward as you unfold. Pushing into the back foot on your way forward. Testing, testing, testing. Let go of the neck. Again, reaching forward, beginning middle, up body up, ending of that breath. Exhale, reaching forward, looking down. Let go of the neck at the very end. Third one, right, beginning. Going up two, look up between your hands, that's your three. Exhale, deliver forward, looking down, let go of the neck. Okay, lean your fingers down, then how about a little gentle, gentle pulsation. Letting go, letting go, letting go, releasing of the shoulder, let go of the neck, release, release, release. Okay, stay here for a moment. Can you swing that tailbone side to side? If it's too much for you, you can step your feet, the width of your feet a little bit wider. Okay, one more deep breath as you let go of the neck. Ground into the front foot, we're going to ascend now. Here's one, coming up two. Look straight ahead. Exhale, navel in before you seal it. Back to your center again. Once you return, stay here for me. Pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, try again. Heels to the feet off the floor. Circle now. Coming up one. Coming up two. Better, better. From into the glutes. From into your ankle. From into your legs. Descend, descend, descend. Two more like this. Here's the beginning. Here's the middle. Here's the ending of that breath. Descending, seal the navel, seal your legs, seal your glutes, seal your ankles before you return now back to the center. Okay, left side again. This is your inhale. Relax out to the side. Internal rotation in your hip, in your knee, in your ankle. Step now, left foot goes behind you again. Inhale, nice full circle, tailbone forward, looking up. Exhale, reaching forward, away from the shoulder before you descend, crown comes down. Right arm first, that's your inhale. Uh, sorry, left arm first, left hand, right hand will follow, turn, 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 favor your right side on your way back, inhale, right arm, exhale, left, shoulders down, let go of the neck, forward folding, same side, left, inhale, right, exhale, favor your right side, as if you're looking towards that right elbow. Inhale, right, navel in. Exhale, left, letting go, shoulders down, forward fold. Last one, inhale, unfold. Long fingers, favor your left side already. Ground into that front foot for me. 
Lengthen first, let your inhale. That is your exhalation, forward fold. Try not bend that front knee. Fingers on or off your support. Can you open up your wings? Push that back foot. Just try it looking down. Try not to use your neck to hold you. Ready? You gotta get that strength activated in the lower leg on your way back. Think about ascending first before you deliver that foot down again. Okay, try now, second side, right hand, inhale, right side, exhale. Hip, knee, ankle rotation, stepping that right leg behind you. Press into the front foot on your way back. Press into the back foot on your way forward. Lengthen, lengthen before you deliver the body down. Then inhale, right. Exhale, left. Favor your left side as if you're looking for that elbow there. Inhale, left. Navel in first. Keep the length even if you need to bend your knee. Exhale, down. Shoulders down. Again, inhale, right. Long fingers. Long fingers. Reach, reach, reach. Reaching up and behind you. Inhale, coming up, same arm. Exhale, shoulders will come down. Forward folding, releasing, releasing, all the way down. Ready, halfway up. Bend that front knee slightly. Hands on or off your support. Wings now. If you don't need your support, Bring your arms like you're spreading your wings. Pressing back into that back foot. Nice and strong. Lower foot should engage already. We're going to ascend. Ascend. Think about ascending. There's that invisible thread before you deliver your body down again. Okay, let's try. You have a support handy if you need to. Let's try to go open this way and close this way, okay? When I ask you to take that foot behind you, that means everything along the back of your body, from the upper back, lower back, hip, legs, gets that firmness, which you need, otherwise they go down with gravity. Ready? Deep breath, right foot, Looking down, bend that standing leg slightly. You gotta push back into the back foot. Navel seals first. Think about ascending. Think about going up before you deliver that foot down. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, left leg. Going out, going back. And we look down. Here, exhale, returning, returning, come back to return. Nice full circle. Feel the space behind you on your way up. Feel the space behind you on your way down. Try again. Deep breath from the top. Exhale, right leg back. Push, push, push through the back foot. Long fingers. Try to look down so you're not using your neck to hold you. Ready? Sensing the space above you. Hug your body into the space behind you before you return. Inhale, heart. Exhale, try again left leg behind you looking down now your shoulder blades in if you can now your belly in squeeze that standing leg go upstairs feel the space behind you before you reach home one more on each side inhale heart exhale right going back one Two, looking down, coming into your three. 
Here we hold one, breathe for me, two, three. Exhale, returning. Think about ascending. Think about relationship into the space that you do not see before you deliver, coming to the center. Inhale, heart. Exhale, space on your right, on your left. Space behind you, in front of you, space beneath you. Stay here, breathe, relax the neck. Try not to use your neck to find your balance. Okay, see the coin on your way back. Center, center, center. So obviously it's the back of the body. But more importantly, it's the inner cavity of your body that gets well engaged when you work with these articulation. So the inside of the body we do not see, but they do go down with gravity. They do get really soggy and <laughs> lethargic if we don't ask them to work. Okay, angles together. Can you work with it half closed or fully closed? so that you're navigating more with your brain nuance. Ready? Eyes half or fully closed. Coming up two, going up three. Sensing the space behind you. Exhale, sensing the space within you before you take that midline. Try a couple more times. Eyes closed gives you a different element of challenge. Without challenge, everything sort of just takes a back seat. Healthy challenge, create a little healthy stress. So the body, every parts of your body from the inside out will become a little more accountable for you. Last one, five counts this time. Ready? Beginning, two, three. Four, four and a half, and five. Exhale, one, two, three, three and a half, four. Finally, heels of the feet back to the ground. Okay, let us step your feet wider than the width of your shoulder and a strap or a belt handy. Let's make that strap wider, almost double the width. Okay, push into the strap, up away from the shoulder. Wiggle, wiggle your toes there for a moment. Ready? One hand at a time. Push, push, push. Another hand above you. If this is okay, start to look up. Press and reach. Next stage, one heel off the floor. Another heel off the floor. Reach. When you lift that one heel off the floor, can you feel that leg being a lot more encouraged? If you're ready, can we try one foot off the floor? Another foot off the floor. Use the pushing of the strap to learn to be really tall and learn to suspend yourself in the midair. Couple more on each side. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Here we go. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Ready? Pushing, pushing, stay, stay, stay. Returning. Pushing, pushing, stay, stay, stay. Look down. Right hand on the top. Left hand comes down. Left hand goes behind you. So you can use the strap as a support. Make it lengthy because let us try. No touching back there. We're going to have a little dry cleaning session. Swish, swish, swish. Body scrub behind you, behind you, right and the left side. Just be very casual and lighthearted about it. Okay, one of your arm is going to have a little extra articulation for you to gain this elongation. Every time when you work with the shoulders, your inner muscle will follow your rib cage 
meaning your breathing organ gets the stretch, right? So one more, come to that place. I can hold you here for a moment. Deep breath into the two corners of your rib cage. Tailbone forward a little more. One more deep breath, exhalation, release. Once you release now, both hands, make that strap a little wider because I want you to experience this rotation. Wide as you can, so you can mobilize the strap forward and back a bit. Okay, ready? We push that strap above you. Bring your strap behind you. Exhale, we go forward. Keep pushing into the strap on your way down, down, down. Come to that same place. Now inhale, elevate your strap up behind you. Exhale, bring it down towards the ground. Inhale, up away from you, behind you. Exhale, bring it down. One more, inhale behind you, exhale, bring it down. Using the pressing of the strap to return. Can we now, one heel off the floor, another heel off the floor. Keep pushing into the strap. Some of you, both heels are off the floor. You gotta squeeze though, especially the back of your leg. Otherwise you tell forward. Enter, don't be afraid to enter into the space behind you a bit. Exhale, return. Okay, give your hands a little shake, 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 shake. If you're not used to it, it can feel a little intense. You just need to shake it out. Okay, left hand on the top, right hand on the bottom. Swing that strap behind you. Make it lengthy so you're not touching your spine. Okay. Feet apart, point your toes forward. Ready, body scrub. Side to side, experiencing your left side, experiencing your right side, no touching. Dry cleaning, dry cleaning, swish, 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 swish. Both side, okay. One of your arm is going to enable you to do that. So you kind of ride on that support as far back as your body allows. How do you know if you're doing too much is when your breath start to get shortened and kind of shallow. Deep, long breathing is the way to gauge how well the body is connecting to the stretch. Stay here, one more deep breath. Feel how that breath stretches open your intercostal muscles, freeing up all these intense tightness Okay, exhalation, we release. Okay, coming back, but this time we make that strap shorter. Almost the width of your shoulder, slightly wider, but not too wide. Okay, press that strap up away from the body. And wiggle, wiggle, you will gain a little more height. Find that height, press that strap, into the space behind you. Just feel where is your edge, tailbone forward again. Okay, push that strap halfway down. So you learn to find your forward bend with the body rather straight. Can you see the spine is rather straight by pushing into the strap? Push into the strap upstairs. Now we go to your right side. Bend that elbow gently, gently. Pause tree motion, pause tree motion, pause tree motion. Before we come back, I'm gonna hold you here for a moment. Some of you can press that strap outside of you even more. If that is so, work with that. Here is that opening, front gate of your left hip, lower part of your lungs, middle part of your lungs, upper part of your lungs. Ready, push into the strap to come up. Bend the elbow a little bit, front and back. Testing, testing, testing. Pressuring up, going up to your second side. 
Bend that lower elbow. Pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Your tendons and your ligament takes a little longer than your muscle stretch. So give them a little time, have a little more patience. Release, release, release down to gravity. Stay here for a moment. Some of you can press that strap outside of the body. So you work on a deeper extension. Now your breath really should match the depth of your practice. The stronger the stretch, the deeper the breath. Before you return, can we enter into the space behind you? Like you're taking a little detour behind you before you neutralize. Bend that elbow. Now we gotta polish our halo upstairs. Noticing my wrist are rather aligned. So I'm not doing this. Nothing is messy in nature. Everything is a beautiful position. Okay, circling, circling above your crown, opposite rotation. Dry cleaning, dry cleaning, dry cleaning, dry cleaning. Okay, one more. Push, push, push. One heel at a time off the floor. Or press, squeeze into the leg. Both heels off the floor. Can you feel the intensity of your footwork, your leg work, and your glue work? Firm them in before you return. Okay, right foot turns out, left foot turns in. Deep breath, bend that right knee only as far down as the body allows. We go down to your left side. This one, you know, if you need a little pulsation, work with that. Otherwise, stay. If the body allows, push that strap outside of the body. Now you add that leg work. That means your inner leg, your pelvic floor, your ankle, and your leg gets a little strengthening action. Okay, you gotta firm into the legs to return. Both feet are pointing forward. Again, you gotta push into the strap so that you keep the spine really straight before you bring your strap down. Bend your elbows, pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Release, release, come down to gravity, come down to gravity. Okay, push into your feet. We come upstairs again. Turning now, second side. Left foot turns out, right foot turns in. You gotta keep on pushing. Then that left knee. Noticing my spine is straight, not here, not here. Okay, going to the opposite direction. Down to your right side. Give it a little pulsation if you need. Or stay. Option three, you press that strap away from your navel. Keep working with that breath. Remember, the deeper the engagement, the stronger the breath. Okay, feel for your inner leg working. Feel for your breath deepening. You gotta squeeze into the leg to return. Point both feet forward. Okay, let us go for your circular motion. But can you mobilize the rib cage with it this time? Inhale behind you, exhale before you. Inhale behind, exhale before. One more, go slowly, especially this part, because you are not really used to going into the space behind you in your daily life. Going into the space that you do not see. So let's occupy that space. Opposite rotation if you haven't taken that yet. Okay, one more. Push, push, push. Halfway down, you gotta push, push, push. Looking down, firm your legs before you let go. Okay, now you can let go of the strap. Thank you for staying through the course. Fingers are down, halfway up, look forward. 
through the mouth, exhale, bend your elbows, shoulders down, forward fold. Two more like this. Inhale, halfway up. Through the mouth, exhale, bend your elbows, forward folding. Last one, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend your elbows, forward fold. Release, release, release. If this is too much, give a little pulsation or a little gentle oscillation. However, the body can appreciate what you're doing for it. Okay, letting go, letting go. Deep breath if you're holding the pose. Hands to the waistline so that you're using the firming of the legs to return now. Once you return, turning again, chew your right foot out, left foot in. Both hands come to the top of that hip. Bend that knee slightly. Shake, shake, shake. Use your hand to show you how to release, release, release. Okay, that knee will be slightly bent. Going for external rotation, external rotation. Stretching is good, but better before and after you lubricate that joint. So everything is harmonious. You're compensating everything that you just did. Opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation. Okay, back to that center, switching side, turning left foot out, right foot in. Cutting hold of that hip as you bend that knee slightly. Use your hand to show you. Boom, 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 boom. Charge it up. Fresh new energy in your hips. And plus you have all these ascending, descending colons here. Give them a little nourishment, a little stimulation as well. Okay, bend that knee slightly away from the navel, round that hip circle. Just that left hip though. Okay, so that is your external rotation, external rotation. Rib cage is relaxed so that your lower and your mid, mid back gets a lubrication. Opposite rotation. Noticing this knee is not doing it, is this guy. Everything else is pretty stable. Just feel the articulation as you learn to isolate your muscle groups. Okay, once you return now, both feet will go forward. Arms out to, out to the side. How do you know you're getting better in your leg strength? Is when you glide back, you don't sound like a big elephant. <laughs> okay, so try that again. Nice full circle, right foot off the floor. Inhale. Exhale, deliver. Back to the midline. Okay, left foot off the floor, beginning, middle, ending of your breath. Exhale, beginning, middle, ending of your breath. Right foot in the front, left leg in the back. Bend both knees slightly, lubrication again. Going for both hips together. Clockwise lubrication, clockwise lubrication, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. How about just the front hip, both hands to the right hip. Just that hip, bend that knee slightly. Can you stabilize that front knee as you go for external rotation, external rotation, external rotation. Internal rotation. If I turn to the side, can you see how stabilized my quad is? I am not doing this. It's this hinge. The inner cavity of that hip that you worked so hard on building today gets a little gentle massage. Take now your back foot forward. Cupping hands, one on each side. Bend knee slightly. Both hip go circular mobility, circular lubrication, circular lubrication. 
Opposite rotation, opposite rotation, opposite rotation. Cupping your hand onto that hip. Bend that front knee slightly. Again, external rotation. Have a look at this front knee. So you have this visual reminder. Knee does not move. You're lubricating your head, but you're asking your quads to be super steady. Opposite rotation. Please remember to lubricate your hip after your balance practice. Otherwise, everything becomes very mechanical. All right? So motion is lotion. Relax into the stability of your legs so you can really pay homage to all that work that you just did. Okay, finally, we gather, give your toes both feet, shake out your toes really well, and your whole leg, including your back, gets a release. Okay, finally, we step our feet together. So we close our practice with a little settling sense of connection out into the world. The flowing of the water in the ever-living fountain, the rising and the setting of the sun upon its way. In your mind's eye, see that already. The wide encircling of my own horizon, heaven above. Feel then the earth beneath your feet. Feel the warmth beneath your feet. The root now rises to stem leaves and flowers and the falling of the seed so thank you everybody for sharing your practice today i wish you a magical day thank you for your mindful focus attention and sharing your joy today i wish you a lovely day we'll see you in a couple of days take care everyone <laughs>